Hey guys, it's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. I have a really amazing DIY for you today. We're gonna to be using Dollar Tree rulers to create a sort of summery picket fence for your home's decor. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you the supplies that we're gonna be using. So here is a look at the supplies. The main item you're going to need is from the Dollar Tree, like I said. So these are just wooden rulers and they come in a set of two. So you're gonna need eight rulers total or four packs of the two. And then you're gonna need something to cut these down with. So I have a miter box and hand saw here. I got this for less than $10 at Walmart. It's really handy to have around, especially if you don't have a power miter saw. Uh, which is what I usually use, but I like to do things that are a little bit more realistic for most viewers. I also have some gray and white chalk paint here. We're gonna give this sort of a whitewashed look. And then I have a foam paintbrush, one for each one of those colors. So the thing I'm gonna get started doing first is to take off all of the numbers here on the sides of the rulers. They're just basically taped down or glued down a little bit. They're not stuck on there very, very good. So these just peel right off. We're gonna take all of those off of the eight rulers. All right, so I have all of those peeled off now and we're going to use the back side. So the side that we peeled those off of is actually gonna be the back and the flat side is going to be the front. And I have a few of these set up here. You're gonna want five of these for the back panel. And then we're going to cover up those bottom holes so you don't have to cut those off. So we're gonna have a bottom piece and then we're going to have a top piece and then we're also going to have a cross piece here so it's eight pieces total and I want this to have more of a fence look so I'm going to dog ear the corners of the five in the back here so all you have to do is use your miter box which I'll show you here it already has little grooves in it. These are 45 degree angle cuts, so your saw will actually fit down in that. And you'll move your ruler until it's at, it's at a spot where you can just slice that little corner off and then you'll flip it over and do it to the other corner. So you're gonna do that to all five pieces here in the back. So here's all of those cut. Now we're gonna work on two more. We're gonna cut the circles off the end so we don't see those. I'm gonna cut it down to about 10 and a half inches long. All right, so I just set this up how I wanted it, but I put this cross piece here behind the top and bottom pieces. That way I could scribe on here the angle that I need so that it fits in between the two. So you can see my little pencil marks right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one down to size now. And here is a look at all of the pieces cut down. So I have a five of the dog ear fence posts. I have a crossbar and then I have the top and bottom bars. And I'm gonna use a little bit of sandpaper just to sand down those rough edges where I cut. And then I'm gonna give them all a coat of this chalk paint in the color Elephant.
All right, so now that I have all of these painted and they're dried, it was just one coat of the Elephant Gray. And I wanted to show you a little bit more in detail how I whitewash because it's really, really simple. Uh, all I do is I sort of wipe a lot of the paint off of my brush. I'm using white chalk paint here on my foam paint brush. So I kind of get a lot of it off. And then I just stroke back and forth like this. I don't want to cover all of that gray up. That's why we put that base coat on there so that we have a nice weathered look at the end. So it's kind of a layering process. So what I do is I kind of get some streaks on here and it will dry a little bit transparent. So you'll even see some of the gray coming through the white. So just one coat like that. And then what I do is I get a little bit more paint on my paintbrush, wipe that off. And then I do darker thin streaks. So it gives it more texture that way. So just a few darker, you know, it kind of looks like where it wasn't worn quite so much. So you want to be sparing with these, but the, now you have basically a three layered paint a faux technique here. You don't want to forget your sides here either. Just hit those a little bit. Don't forget the ends and that's all there is to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing the rest of these just like that. And now they're all dry, so I just got my hot glue gun out and some glue sticks, and that is how I'm going to build it and piece it all together. So here's the look at it all pieced together and I feel like this could be such a versatile kind of piece. You could put a clip up here and hang a photo in this space down here from the clip. You could put a hook and that's kind of what I'm going to do so I can hang a wreath on the front. You could even hang a wood sign here, a smaller sized one. So lots you could do with this. You could even just leave it as is and kind of use it as a background. So lots of ideas, but I'm just going to add this cute little lamb's ear wreath to the front. This was a really fun project to work on and I'd love to know how would you use this in your own home's decor? Let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoy projects like this, make sure to check out my social media pages, both Facebook and on Instagram. I'll have those linked down in the description box below. I hope that this tutorial inspired you. Make sure to take a second and give it a thumbs up for me. You can also hit that subscribe button so you can stick around and join me every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for new DIYs, tutorials, and new inspiration. And while you're at it, also hit that bell so you get notified when my videos go live. Thank you all so much again, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.